Hello, uh, this is Jeter, um, and he's going to demonstrate uh, the use of the dog uh, poop catcher that I've invented. And uh, just watch, you want to make sure you follow closely, and when you see the signs of him getting ready, slide it under. But be careful now, don't touch him with it, or it'll disrupt uh, the operation. So just hold it in position and let him do his business. Uh, at first time you try it, it uh, he may jump away, but uh, after a little bit of time, uh, it will work just fine, and I think you'll like it. Good luck. Well, hello, this is Sam Owens uh, with another invention of mine. Uh, I cover all fields uh, from uh, the Polaris slingshot to... Um, RVs and now a dog uh, poop catcher. Uh, I don't own a dog right now, but a number of years back uh, I came up with this uh, dog poop catcher idea because I didn't like picking up dog poop. Well, I'm going to share this idea with uh, the folks out there that have a dog and don't want to get down and uh, find the poop and pick it up with their hands in a bag. This will allow you to keep your hands clean and uh, not have to bend over. I have a portion of the video dedicated to uh, demonstrating uh, with the use of Jeter, one of our neighborhood dogs, uh, he demonstrates it well. And uh, it's a great product for all size dogs. I've used uh, I've used it with large dogs and very small dogs and uh, it seems to do the job and it's very inexpensive and easy for you to build yourself. I'm going to go over uh, the materials and how to assemble them to make your own dog poop catcher. Go to the hardware. I went to um, Home Depot and purchased these items half inch uh, PVC pipe with a, a coupler or you could just have I, I made this so that I could uh, detach it and you know store it in two pieces the handle so it's not so long but I wouldn't recommend it you don't really need to you just store this out in the garage or wherever and uh, leave it as one piece uh, uh, if you would like or you can add a coupler and uh, make it where you can take it apart Another item you're going to need is something like this I found is very inexpensive and uh, Easy to modify as your support for the the bag that you're going to use to collect the dog poop This is nothing more than a, a gallon paint can pouring spout. This part goes into the top of the can and it allows uh, to pour the paint out without running down the side of the uh, can. So you can get this in the paint department and they're uh, about $1.95. Now it doesn't have this hole. This is what you're going to have to drill yourself. A half inch uh, hole uh, or uh, two and you probably can't find a drill bit that big, but the biggest one you can get and you can kind of work this out Or you could get an auger bit and uh, I'll leave that to you But you could drill a half inch hole and then with a knife you can carve it out to the size you need You want this hole um, Where this will kind of screw in so you don't want uh, it, it's best if you do that but I got mine a little bit uh, bigger, but uh, you're going to uh, secure it. So with a, uh, this is an electrical uh, connector. It goes on to, um, eh, I don't have it. Uh, the clamp that goes uh, into an electric box and this screws into it. So in the electrical section, you can get one of those little uh, connectors. And what you do is screw this on just like this and give it a good tight fit and then that holds it right at that point 
And then you uh, take a rubber band is going to be needed to clamp the bag and I'm going to demonstrate that. So what I do is I slide the rubber band on because I have a uh, some, this was my camera mount to video the camera that I uh, show Jeter demonstrating the use of this product. But once you've got that in place, I just kind of put it over here. You stick this into the end of that, give it a good twist, and there is your dog poop catcher frame and handle ready to go. And now I'm going to show you how I mount the bag. I found a real neat way to do this. This is any uh, bag that you get at the grocery store, any kind of uh, convenience store, a little plastic bag of any kind, but it's got these little handles on the side. And what you do, you pop this in here like this, and you wrap let me give you a good shot of this. You wrap this. Now what I do sometimes is I will stick it through my legs like this. Hold it. Go around. Whoop, let me. Okay. Go around like this. And then pull it up. And just cross it over. And then I don't tie it or anything. I use the rubber band. To pull down and just clamp around and it doesn't have to be tight it's just enough to hold it in place that will demonstrate its use that's the best way to see it and uh, this will handle any size dog and uh, the morning walk you fill it up but I just I don't empty it right then I simply, because uh, the reservoir is big enough, unless it's a huge dog, a little dog, you could just use this for the whole day, one time. And then once the end of the day and all the dog poop for the day is in there, then you just slide this rubber band off, grab the bottom of it, and pull it off, tie it up, and dispose of it. And there you go. Inexpensive. Probably the products, uh, five bucks uh, with paint and everything, or maybe a little bit more. But uh, you could have your own, and uh, you just uh, follow my uh, instructions on the video, and I think you'll, uh, you'll see it uh, might make the uh, walking the dog to do his necessities might be a little bit more enjoyable. Okay, so try it out. I think you'll like it.